Hello, my name's Julie Williams. I'm a registered migration agent with Migration Down Under, and I'm here to answer some of the most general questions that we continue to receive either through YouTube or email, etc. Now, the first one, um, a lot of people comment on, you know, a certain age. If you are applying for skilled migration, you have to be under 45 unless there are exemptions. And the only exemptions that occur if you're already here working in Australia in a highly skilled position. So um, as far as age is concerned for any family migration, there is no age requirement unless you're looking at a parent visa. So with your questions, you do need to be specific when you're asking about, I'm, you know, what age do I need to be? You need to sort of notify us as far as what visa you're looking at. In regards to um, partner visas, a lot of people are, are suggesting they've got their boyfriend or their girlfriend overseas and they're wanting them to come to Australia to join them. Look, unfortunately, that's not considered as a member of the family unit uh, for the travel exemptions. So whilst our borders remain closed, the only travel exemptions occurring uh, for members of the family unit are for immediate families. So they are spouses whether married or de facto. If you're de facto, you've actually got to show evidence of the longevity of the relationship, as well as the fact that you've lived together. Obviously, there are some exemptions, but if you've never lived together, don't share your life together from a financial perspective, um, and you are simply girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever a, you know relationship may be, you do actually have to be in a committed married or de facto relationship. And that's the only way you're going to be able to get um, a travel exemption. In regards to um, you know the borders being closed and I know the growing anxiety and frustration by everyone, look, they're not our rules. We're just delivering a message. It's um, We do understand and we empathise with all the visa applicants that are stuck offshore. Um, and however, the government, um, it's the government decision and what they're trying to do is slow down the movement of people to try and eradicate um, the pandemic from Australia's, uh, Australia's shores. And in regards to um, dependents that are currently stuck offshore, maybe you're a, a, a 482 holder um, or a 485 holder, a student holder, a dependent um, on your um, partner who's already in Australia with that visa. Unfortunately, if it's a temporary visa that you hold, I'm sorry, but the government's requirements are that um, you, you are not going to be able to get a travel exemption to enter. Do visit the department's website um, on COVID-19 um, specific because that will give you a really good overview and understanding of what the government are looking at for travel exemptions. And that same goes with um, Australians departing Australia as well. So our international borders, I want to reiterate, are currently closed to all temporary visa holders. And um, there are exemptions to highly skilled that are being sponsored and the employer can show that there is um, a real critical need for that uh, applicant to be in Australia. But our borders do look like they are going to remain closed for another good 12 months, unfortunately, unless a vaccine is found before that. So um, look, stay tuned, we'll continue to keep you updated. I understand your anxiety, your frustration. We are equally as frustrated as well. Um, at the same time, we've got to understand that the government are trying to put the health of the nation first and um, are trying to sort of monitor the flow of people coming in and out of the country. Stay safe, stay tuned. If you do want to keep up to date, uh, make sure you've registered on our social channels because we'll continue to uh, keep you informed.